Hello and welcome. Today this video is inspired by uh, Secret Soto and Callie Black here on YouTube and we're first going to start with the feathers which Secret was my inspiration for the feathers and then the second part towards the end will be the moons which were inspired by Callie Black. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's about 30 minutes so it's a little long and I talk a lot in here. So I will see you inside. I'm just showing you this one. I use the mulberry paper but I use a lot of paper and if you want to see that in more depth then watch Secrets video. I will put the link below. She uses does a lot of paper and ribbon ones and puts uh, beautiful lace over the paper. So uh, this I'm just showing you. I did a lot of different papers but I just thought well I'll show you just a quick little bit of some and that some drop paper there. And then here now I've just cut out the feathers. Um, this is that mulberry paper and just feathering with my scissor. Just keep going around and around and make sure you check out Secret's video. I just want to keep saying that through this because she really goes into a lot of detail. And I just feathered and just kept, you know, cutting, cutting and until it's, you know, kind of give spaces like a regular, you know, like a real feather would, would have. Okay, here I am just cleaning off the CD just like uh, Callie and uh, Secret do with the tape and just getting, and now I'm just cutting a feather out just to show you. I can't split it, but there's my feather. Now I'm just pouring uh, some alcohol inks on the feather. This feather I cut, and if the sound was on, you'd be able to hear it. It kind of cr crinkles, it cracks actually because I already cut it but if you do it without cutting it first then they don't crack but be careful because if you cut them and make the little feather thing they do start to crack it's kind of cool but if you don't want that then make sure that you don't cut them first before you pour the alcohol inks and spray alcohol on them Okay, so I just want to show you what I've done. And these are my feathers, and these are the ones I did with the paper. There's the paper ones, and paint, and inks, and this is uh, jelly paper, uh, deli paper. And it's just an extra thing flying around. There's some more. And what I did was I used the Mod Podge, the Dimensional Magic, and put that over them, one side, so this way it's nice and shiny. So these are the ones, all the paper ones. I mean, you can really go crazy with them. They're so much fun. Okay, that's that one. So these are the ones I, not as, of course, as many as uh, Secret. She really did tons, and I, I don't think... I'm going to do that many, but I did do quite a few, so you can see. And some of them come out more fuzzier than others. And then these are the ones, whoops, I'm so klutzy, goodness gracious. These are the ones with the CD. Now, I could not separate those CDs like uh, Secret did. So these are the full thickness. So they're pretty thick. And this I did with, now this is what I did with the, um, I took the acetate and I glued it together. You can still see some of the glue in there. Glued it with the um, dimensional glue and then I just cut some and that's thinner. Now that's a thinner, it's a little bit easier to work with, but I do love the CD, the thicker ones. So. That's those, and then these are ones that I did. I have this foil, and I was like, wow, what if I use the foil? And it's, it's, yeah, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's, you know, heavy enough. And this one is just, I just put some ink on it. But you can cut those, that up, too, if you have. I haven't used it. I don't know why I bought it. It must have been for something. 
and I have a roll of the blue one. I think I have a gold and a, and a silver. So that's something, too, that you can use. But I do like the acetate where you can cut that. Let's see if I have another one here with the acetate. No, these are the, all the... Yeah, these are all the CDs. And one of the CDs actually fell apart. It broke in two and by itself. And I was cutting it, and it just broke. So that was good. So I have, but I cannot get them to come apart without damaging my fingers. So I tried using a um, tweezer, and I tried using my knife and all kinds of stuff and almost stabbed myself. So I was like, okay, well. Maybe I need a different tweezer. Maybe it needs to be sharper. But So these are the ones I have left. And these are the ones that I've painted and cut. So it's kind of cool. And this one is still... I haven't done anything. Well, I started cutting this one. So, you know, all I did was take whatever I have. <clears throat> I have this scissor too, the penny. Um shears, whatever these things are. Just, and it kind of twists, which is really cool. I, I love the way that twists. And this was painted with um, these pinata inks and um, Adirondack inks and also paints, all kinds of paints, all different kinds of deco art and um, paints that I put on the other oh, one. Sorry. And I did, you know, the same, what she told me, you know, you told all of us to just, you know, keep going in there and this way you can make it look more real like if you, you know, cut them up a little bit. I have the feathers feathering, but I just love the way it twists when you use the seed. Now I haven't cut up the CD that has been cut in half yet. So this one is still the thick version. And then <clears throat> I'll show you this. And this is that metal stuff on the roll. And this cuts fairly easy. And th what's nice about this too is that it curls. It kind of curls. And I, and I like that. And now it's a little bit different. So and that, the individual um, cuts curl. So that's something different. These are for that one. And just keep cutting away. And I just get a, a curl to it, which is very kind of feathery. Really nice. I'm going to add some more color to this, but I just wanted to show you how this works. And so you just do the same thing you do for the paper, and you just keep messing with it. And you just keep doing that. And then this one, where is that one I wanted to do? Oh, okay these I have here. Um, okay, th this is one that is the two acetate together. So, I don't know where this... Two acetate sheets together. So, um, you can see how this... And this I haven't colored yet, but I will. But just so you can see, you can do the same thing. And then you have, a, it's a little bit heavier than the paper and not as heavy as the CDs. If you want to work with something a little bit thinner, this is a great, and you just, you can buy the acetate, the sheets. I, I think I, mine is old. I've got it a while. It's from, um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And just keep going. No, and these don't have the the wire in them. I didn't put the because you can't. I tried to actually glue the wire in between, but you know, just just wouldn't work. So 
So just do that same thing like you're doing with the paper. And then we'll paint this one. See how that comes out. And this one you're going to put a hole in to get a leaving row because you're going to have to string that. If you can see that too well but that comes out really fluffy and um, so what I did was just like this I glued it together and then just either draw on here and then cut out your your um, feather or <clears throat> just cut it and then this is the acetate I just painted it so it's just really kind of thin and that's this comes out like this it's very feathery, very thin. So um, you could actually just glue down a piece of wire if you wanted to here and just straighten that. You know, if it's too floppy for you, then you could just do that. You know, and then paint this or paint it first and then glue it down. And then you'd have more support on here for this feather if you wanted to do that. And see, that's the nice shiny side. And I like that because the acetate, this is the side I painted on. And then this is the side you're actually seeing through it. So it's really nice how that shines and comes out. So this is what I did. I just poured different kinds of paints over it and then you can cut it and you know look at it on this side so you already have some nice shiny and I just could not get the um, the acetate to stay together with the little wire so you just have to do it that way unless you can figure that out I could not so and here's another one so that's another one if you didn't want them clear. So this, and I could color this. Now this is the two piece, so I could do that and make it thicker and uh, just color this, put my paint on here and then cut them out. Instead of having them clear, I can't even see it, but I just wanted to do a clear one and see how that looks. So you can do that. So that's just something different. And then this is the, um, the acetate. You've seen me, if you watch my videos, I've used this acetate before in different, projects oh it's kind of sticky on it and it's the door lar and it's the acetate alternative okay so here i took i took that acetate what was left of the double sheet and i just figured you know what i'm going to just do the whole thing and then cut them instead of doing them individually because i cut some of the clear i wanted to just see how it worked first and so now i'm just inking and putting a decor paint and just spraying water, spraying alcohol. I mean, I just, you know, made it nice and, and thick and juicy and very bright. And uh, now I'm just splattering some teal paint on there and, you know, just play and see how it comes out. Okay, so here I'm just painting the individual cut up already feathers. So I'm just dabbing some paint on them and then spraying them with alcohol and uh, putting alcohol inks and all kinds of stuff so that's you can do it individually you can do it as a sheet and then cut them you know whatever whatever you want to do spray water spray alcohol and just let the colors mush together and make them you know do whatever have fun it's like having little canvases so enjoy them I couldn't get enough of the you know dropping the different color inks on it I mean, you got to watch out. Sometimes you get mud, but it was fun. Okay, so I wanted to show you. I cut a feather out of this, and this is the acetate with the paint on. It's thicker than the single sheet. Now, this is the single sheet, and you can see, and then this is the 
the double sheet. So it's a little bit, depending on how you like it, if you like it a really soft feather, you like it a little stiffer. And then you've got one side, which is the shiny, and then the other side has got the paint, but it's still shiny. So, and that works really good. Then these, you can just take a hole puncher because there's, you know, and just punch a hole for your wire or loop, whatever you're going to put in there. And the same thing <clears throat> with, uh, you know, these kind, you can just use your hole puncher with any of the acetate ones or the, uh, let's see this one too, the metal, what a, not metal, but the foil one, you can just punch with a, a hole puncher. They're thin enough. You know, and then um, you can thread them, do whatever you want with them. And these, you know, you've, the paper ones, you've already got the little, <clears throat> all you have to do is make a little loop on top with the wire that's there. And then just either cut that or I hate cutting it because it just makes it sharp. I like to squish it in there. Okay, and those, and then you can just chain them on. Now these, you either, you can watch Secret has one where she uses something from Tim Holtz where you can put the hole in, or you can just drill it. Uh, if you have a little drill, a little, uh, little, you know, small drill, you can just do that. And I don't know how else you can do it. Uh, somebody was saying something about burning a needle or something and banging it in, but... I think it's easier to either just drill it or buy that little thing that Secret has. That looked like it was cool. You just tighten it and it just, I don't know. It was just really cool. So watch her video and you can see that. And then um, I have more of these single layer ones. I'm going to cut all these out and get them all done. And then what I'll do is I will uh, attach them and bead them and then see what I want to do. I also want to decorate them. Now, Secret used a little um, fine liner, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my fine liners and then just decorate these. So I'll be back with that, okay? Now I'm just feathering the acetate ones that I uh, painted, and they're really easy to work with, and especially if you have any arthritis or any problems with your hands, the acetate is a lot easier to work with than the CDs, uh, but the CDs are nice, you know, they have that nice thick, so either way, but it, it's definitely up to you. There's so many different ways, and then make sure you check out Secrets video, I'll put that below, and then also, <clears throat> I started cutting out, I like that star, huh? and the moons, the crescent moons to do. So I'm going to do those and because that was from Cali Black and I'm going to do those and get that done and finish my feathers and finish decorating my feathers and I'll show you those. So I'll be right back. Well, my movie was not recording for some reason. Sorry about that. Uh, what I did is I just took my fine liner and just and I was saying you know if you go to um, Secrets channel, you'll see she does a lot of detail. She goes into a lot of detail on this. Hopefully this is taping. I'm trying to make sure. You know what happened? It just stopped recording. I don't know. What so you can see you can keep adding more dimension. More fun to them. It used to. It just comes out really quickly on some of these bottles. That that's a little messed up. Okay. Um and the same thing with Okay, I was having a really difficult time with the recording for some reason, maybe because I was editing something at the same time with iMovie, but it kept cutting out. So let's see how this goes. I just keep playing with the uh, 
fine liners, but you can add beads and all anything to this. And I probably will, but I, you can actually see all that if you go watch Secrets uh, video. But I will probably take the time and do some beading on some of these and um, see how they come out. They're just a lot of fun and you can just come up with so many different ideas to do on these. So enjoy yourselves and I hope you're enjoying this and uh, I will just keep going on this and just keep decorating. My goodness, you can use garbage bags, um, not garbage bags, paper bags, sorry, <laughs> paper bags. And that would probably be really cool. And I was thinking about doing that because I have a whole bunch of uh, paper bags. And I thought, oh, that would be really cool to do with my grandkids. You know, have them decorate the paper bags and make the feathers. Because I have like a stack of those things that I was using, you know, to make journals and stuff. But they would make really great feathers. A nice thickness, the paper bags. If you, you know, either use them one layer or double layer, you know. So that's that, I think. Now, I know a lot of people are making feathers, but I believe Secret was the first one to make them with the, um, and this is one with the CD that split. This is like the perfect, I love these, um, with the CD. So they're really unique. Um, and to everybody who's doing these, uh, have fun and enjoy yourselves and share because we all like to see what everybody's doing. It gets everybody inspired. And thank you, Secret, for inspiring me and Callie for inspiring me with the moons. Um, I can't wait to finish that project too. Oh, here's this one too. I don't know if I showed you this one. I love this one. Kind of figure out my favorite, but I think I love this one. I love I love all those vibrant colors, you know. Oh, and but I love this one too. <laughs> and oh, the glittery one, you know, that's kind of cool. They're all so cool. And this one has like gold in it and glitter and just did I show you that one I don't remember I've got them spread out all over the place but I'm going to be hanging beads and stuff from these too so I mean this these are the beads for my um moon but I'll just show you you know you can hang if you wanted to you know, or if I wanted to, I could hang one of these even to my moon hanging and have some feathers hanging down too, which would be really cool. So you can do that with these or um, have, um, you know, ribbon, anything hanging, lots of fun. And please check out Secrets videos. Uh, I will put her link below. She has like a playlist for all of them the whole process which is really in-depth and cool and then I will put Callie's link too because she did the moons and she'll show you how to do all that a lot more in-depth than I did so um, go watch those and enjoy yourselves and create something fun and relaxing put your favorite music on and go for it okay Okay, so here I am cutting up the CD for the moon, and my hands hurt. I am really sore. <laughs> so, but they're worth it. I mean, once you get them, you know, done, they're really cool. And um, I don't know how these would work with acetate. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking you need to do it with the CD, but it was fun. Well, this is the replacement one. You'll hear me later on saying that I broke one, and I did when I drilled it, and now I'm trying to. So this is actually out of sequence, but I wanted to put this at the beginning. <laughs> 
more of the uh, moon so you could see how I did the ink but this is actually the purple one um, this is just like the purple one that I broke when I was drilling so I thought what the heck I might as well show you how I did the purple one so that is it so this one is actually the replacement purple moon and here I am just putting the uh, Mod Podge dimensional magic it's like a glue resin glue and I'm just spreading it on the this star which is my wanky stars because you know I, I cannot cut them straight on I don't know what it is on the CDs my hands just getting old I've got a little bit of arthritis so it was a little hard but just pour glitter on there make sure you do both sides if you do this okay I want you to see I am work still working on these and I've got the glitter on the so I broke one. Ugh, I'm such a klutz. Sorry, guys. But um, this is what I've got set up. I cannot find my tear uh, teardrop glass. I don't know what I did with it. I have so many things still packed, especially glass things. So the other ones I'll probably put the glass teardrop. But I have this these pretty stars. So I thought that I'm going to let me move this up. I guess that I'm kind of down here. Here. Goodness gracious, I didn't realize I was down so far. Okay, move this stuff out of the way. So there, like that. And I don't know if that's the problem. The camera got moved up. And so this will be, this is what I'm talking about here. Star dangling. And that'll go here, and then I made this out of with stiffer wire for, to hold it from the top. So that'll go up there, and I'll get that together. Okay, so this I put this really nice fine glitter on this one. It's very fine gold. It's like a platinum kind of a gold. And this one, what I did with this is I went over it with the um, the Mod Podge and just did a coat of that over this. Uh, look at the back even looks cool. You know, if you leave some of the, like Callie was saying, you leave some of the uh, holographic uh, kind of film, and it, it gives it such a really cool look to it. So one side you see that, and then the other side you see that. And this one I had stamped. Um, you really can't see that in the back here. I may do something more with this back here. But I had uh, stamped in gold. I don't know if you can see. I did really pretty stamping in gold on that. You probably can't catch it with the camera. But this one wasn't as hard to cut out because it was larger. So this one I cut and I put some uh, sparklies down. I probably put something in the middle here. And then I put the holes in so I can hang this and then have some dangles off of that. Or I can hang it from one of the one of the moons too like ugh. so there's so many things you can hang your feathers from them and that also would look really nice if I hung let's see this is going to hold this way hung a feather down here too that would look cool yeah okay so I'm going to get on with decorating my feathers. I just wanted to show you what I was up to with the moons. Trying to incorporate everything into one video so I don't have too many videos to edit. So this way you can see what I'm up to and get an idea. And I, I am going to replace that one that I broke was the coolest because it was like a purpley color. Hopefully I can do that again. And when I went to drill the hole in it, the way I was holding it, it popped the side off. So you got to be real careful because these things do break really easily. Hope you enjoyed this and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You can subscribe by going to the right hand bottom corner of this video and hit that button 
and it'll take you so to so you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would love it love it love it if you did I hope you enjoyed this and I will be seeing you soon in another video so let me know how you like this and please don't forget to go visit Secret Soto and Cali Black. I will put their links below. Thank you so much ladies for your inspiration. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. I truly love you all and until the next time, bye bye.